Uh, welcome back everybody. Comics Crypt coming at you. Um, try and get some of these uh, boxes done from the sale back in June I was at. Uh, so to give you a little brief rundown on this sale. Uh, I found out about this sale when I went to another comic book sale back in May. And a gentleman was telling me there's this guy that does sales usually once a month. Um, and he has boxes and boxes and boxes. And you know, that dollar book. All right, I figured I'd go check it out. I got the guy's address and phone number and called. And the next sale was going to be, I think it was the second weekend in June. Pretty sure that's when it was. So, anyways, I get there. And I'm talking with the guy, and he, and he explains to me, he says, yep, I mean, there's there's boxes. There's probably 40, 50 long boxes. And he buys storage units. He goes in estate sales. He's into everything. Because, I mean, there was, not only was there comic books there, there was um, cards, coins, figurines, toys. You name it, this guy's into everything. And so he goes and he picks out what he wants because he has a high-end eBay store. Then he has this um, basically old storefront. And he has these sales uh, during the summers, like once a month. And then when it gets like spring and, and fall, he'll have one or two. I don't think he has anything over the winter. But, but uh, for the comic books, the first hundred are a dollar. The next hundred, it drops the price of everything down to seventy-five cents. Anything more than two hundred, all the books are fifty cents a piece. Hey, why not? Um, I did spend just around four hundred, a little over four hundred, I believe. That I came back with like five or six short boxes. But, anyways. And he was having one in July. I didn't make it. And I missed the August one because of work. Uh, he's having one in September. And then I don't think he's having one in October. Then he has one around November. And then he'll, he'll be done until spring. But usually that one, that last one, from, if I remember correctly, I'll have to ask him again when I see him, is he just tries and blows everything out. He said, I'll sell the books for a quarter a piece then. And of course, you know, they've been picked through. But, heck, even a quarter a piece, it, it might be worth it. I don't know. See what's left. I'll see if I get to the November one. I definitely want to try and get the September one. Because that'll be the last one. Uh, anyways, enough of me talking. Let's get in this. I already just wasted three minutes. Uh, so, like I said, I just went through about one and a half short boxes and bagged and board what I could uh, and just started separating into piles and I just started grabbing. So here we got uh, JLA, JLX Unleashed, one of the Amalgam number one and it is a newsstand. And then we have Bat Thing number one, Direct, X Patrol number one, Direct and and then we got Thorin of the New Asgods, number one. And now here's a JLX, but this one doesn't have uh, a UPC of any kind, whether it's direct or newsstand. So I don't know if it's an error or what. Variant of some kind? I don't, I don't know. And Super Soldier, number one. And Magneto and the Magnetic Men, number one. And I said this before, I like to get these and put sets together. And I sell the sets for, I think I might sell them for 20 or 25. And they, they sell at my stand. So when I get a full set together, I'll throw it up there and it, it'll sell. And they actually had a bunch of Red Sonyas. And I'm sure there's more in the boxes. This is just what I came across. Um, I definitely got to find all my Red Sonyas because I could probably put both runs together now but here this should be her first ongoing series 
So Red Sonia number four, number six, number seven, number seven. You'll see a lot of dupes. Number eight, number nine. It's got a little bit of writing here, and eight got to take there. So I'll pick out the best one for my PC and then put the rest up in my stand. Number 13, another number 13, number 15. I'm not sure how far this went. And now this would be the second, or volume two. So here is two, five, six, and eight. This batch is going to be a lot of, um, well, you'll see. I like collecting the Whitmans, and that, unfortunately, is on the book. So, but anyways, I don't believe I have this one. There's Brave and the Bold, Batman and the Atom. I don't know what issue it is about taking it out of the bag, but, and then there's a Batman. And, I mean, they're beat up, and a lot of these Whitmans are beat up. But, I like them. Then we got... Rocky and Bullwinkle number five. This one I might end up putting in my stand, but I'm trying to put this set together. It's because it's got a lot of spine ticks, but it is a new stand. Bill and Ted's number four, which is a new stand. Biker Mice from Mars number three, which I've had several ones and twos. I've never had a three, so it's nice to find a three I can put a set together. And I guess they're remaking this. Suppose I guess it's going to be an animated thing. So I know number one really shot up in price. So I figured, what the heck, put sets together. I'll keep one for the PC. If I get some more, I'll uh, put some sets together and try and sell them. Brute Force number one, I have several of these. Uh, I should have all the issues buried somewhere, and it's another one I should probably put together and try and sell as a set. Then a uh, bunch of Star Comics, bunch of Star Comics. Uh, Planetary number three. Another number three, unfortunately, they're directs, not newsstands. And another number three. Like I said, there's a lot of extras in here. Because you, you never know what they were in. You find one in a box, and then six, seven boxes later, you find another one, and it's like, did I pull that one? I don't know. I'll just stick it in there. Uh, Planet Terry, seven, and nine, ten. And we got Top Dog number one, which is a newsstand. Then three is a direct, and nine is a direct, and it's a nice little crossover of Heathcliff. And he, there's a Top Dog 2 that has Spider-Man in it. Uh, Silverhawks number three. Silverhawks was a thing. I don't know if it still is, because number one really shot up in price. And then I think uh, six also. That's the last issue. There's four, and there's six. And they were all, yeah, they're all directs. Wally the Wizard, number one. This is another one of these lines I try to put. I like to try and put like a newsstand set together, a direct set together. Royal Roy, number three. But I come across directs more than I come across newsstands. Here's a Heathcliff, number one. Unfortunately, it does have marker on it. But I don't think I have a Heathcliff, number one. So for right now, it'd be a nice filler. Get Along Gag, number five. Strawberry Shortcake, number three. And you guys might laugh, but these Strawberry Shortcake ones actually sell very well. Inhumanoids, number three. And I'm thinking this, I know this was a toy line, but I'm thinking this was a cartoon back in the 80s as well. Uh, let's see, this should be the last stack of for Marvel. Yeah, Thundercats 15. This is a run I should probably have. And prop might all have it in newsstand. Because I got a lot. I got a box just for Star Comics. And then we got Beavis and Butthead. A lot of them. It's another run I'm trying to put together. Um, newsstands. I think I showed some Ren and Stimpy in my last video. And that's another one I'm trying to put together all newsstand. Which is a few Ren and Stimpies in here. But I don't remember if they're on newsstand or not. Anyways, number three. Number four. Another number four. Number eight. Okay, yep. Here's Ren and Stimpy. So that was it for Beavis and Butthead. So Ren and Stimpy, number four. 
number nine, number 15, number 17, another 17, or 18, another 18, 21, 22, 32, it's getting harder with these, 41, and 44, and this one was a interactive special. I'm trying to remember what the last issue is. I want to say it was like 45 or 46. So it's nice to find these in newsstands. Like I said, I'm, I mainly find directs, and I have the directs, but... I'm trying to do the Ren and Stimpies as I can in and Beavis and Butthead in uh, newsstands instead of direct. On to the Independents. <laughs> Here we got Terminator, the Enemy Within, one and two and three and four. That was a, a, a set. The rest of these aren't sets. One and two secondary objectives. Terminator Endgame 2 and 3. Terminator Hunters and Killers 2. And then I did find a bunch of Star Wars. And I think that this one actually goes for a little bit because it's a half. Um, I should really look it up. But there's a Star Wars Legacy half. Uh, 18. Uh, Shadows of the Empire number 2. Bubba Fett is Dead Blood Ties, number one, and number four. And then there was another Blood Ties. Uh, and this one says Fett on the Menu. Then we got Bubba Fett, Enemy of the Empire, four, four. Was, and then now we're into, I found a bunch of barbed wires. Uh, there's number one of four, three of four. And then this is uh, Ghost in the Machine, part one of two, but it's number four. And then this one's Barbed Wire. I don't know if they're the, this one's number two. They might be the part of the same run. And here's a photo of the movie special with Pamela Anderson. And then I did find an Adam Hughes one. These are not very easy to find. And then an Aliens. Number two, which I think I showed two or three or one on Aliens in my other video that I got in the sale I went to this past weekend. And then you got a species, number one, two of them. I gotta mark my boxes so I know which ones I've been through. Alright. This one I know I have, but for end up being 50 cents a piece because I bought so many. Uh, Chaos Quarterly. Then we got Purgatory versus Dracula. And this was still sealed, and it still has the CD in it. Uh, it's a Lady Death, number four. I thought that was cool to find. And here's a Lady Death, the heroin uh, variant. Mike Diodato Jr., black and white variant. And found some G.I. Joe's from Devil's Due. Uh, reborn. Found some more Dungeons and Dragons. I love my Dungeons and Dragons stuff. I should really put all these together in a box too. But here's Worlds of Dungeons and Dragons 4A. And then this one's 6. And then this is Worlds of Dungeons and Dragons Prestige Collector's Edition. So I'm not sure what issues this collects, if it collects issues, or if this is just a fancier one of these love my wizard has pretty sure I have this but rising star with a certificate and then wizard zero Avengers yeah this one didn't have the certificate 
And I was talking about these in my last video. The Overstreet fans are really hard to find. They're harder to find than the Wizard stuff. So this is a, it looks like a Linzer Razor one half London Knights. No type of certificate or anything, but I thought that was pretty cool. You don't see the fans, the Overstreet fan issues very often. Here's Kiss Zombies, number one, black and white variant. Uh, this one I'll probably give to my daughter. She loves Kiss. And Blood Queen, number three, uh, variant two, I guess. I'm not sure which variant it is, but it is a variant. This looks like it might be a, a decent run. I got, I think, issues one and two. Already, I should try and give it a read. I'll put these aside and read it over my uh, recouping time. Vampirella pinup schedule or special. Mr. Adam Hughes cover art, and he's also in the book. You got Pomati in here. You have Frazada in here. Gonzalez, Batista. So I, I this is this is one I could probably stop buying because I have several of these. I wasn't sure if I had this one, and I love my parody books. This is parody from Parody Presses, the, the Pummeler. Um, yeah, just this was strictly a cheesecake cover buy. I don't buy many books, you know, these adult type books like this. I like you know the covers of some of these other books, but yeah, like I said, um, I just couldn't say no. Uh, American, American Legion. She's yeah. I need to go there for a beer. Alien Legion number three. Then we got Dark Days. Looks like some type of a vampire thing. Maybe thirty. Maybe related to Thirty Days of Night. And Whacked: The Adventures of Tanya Harding and Her Pals, a parody comic. And then I don't really collect many sports type comics. I've shown a few in a couple other videos, but. When this came, and I only found part one, but Shaquille O'Neal and Michael Jordan, yeah, I'm going to pick it up. And then I've got several of these I could probably stop by, and I'm going to give this to my other, my youngest daughter. She's a big Zelda fan. All right, these next couple books, I know I've shown a couple books like these in my last video, and I said about... I don't know if my dad be interested in them or not, but I've never really saw these before. Uh, but for Apple Comics, this is Vietnam Journal number one, number three. In my last video, I'm pretty sure it was Vietnam Journal. I don't remember which issues it was. I'd have to dig out that box again. Number eight, number 11, number 16. I should see how many issues this went. Then we got High Shining Brass. This is a true story of an American spy in Vietnam. Number one, number two, and number three. See, <sighs> so yeah, I did go through and sep try and separate them by man. Yeah. Publisher. Here we got another Xena, which is a actually I don't think it is a newsstand. It looks more like direct because I don't think newsstand has that. But number three of three, the Dragon's Teeth conclusion. I may already have it. I don't know. These I know I have, but I just cannot stop buying Lady Rawhide. I just love buying Lady Rawhide books. And Leave a comment below, and what books do you guys always seem to buy, even though you got multiple copies, you just can't help yourself? Be interesting to see. But there's, this is the, I think this is the second one. Five of five. There's, I know this one is three, that might be the first one. Three, yeah, that's the, that's the first one. And there's one of five. Or, maybe I'm wrong. I don't remember anymore. I had to look it up. There's another lady rawhide. One is this is definitely the first one, and I believe this is the second one. And there's two. 
and there's three so no that's something different oh no wait a minute one's a top so one's an image how about that i did not know that and i didn't realize it was image when i put them in here i thought it was tops and there's four so this is the second one and in zora number two i believe this is the first appearance of oh, i can't remember what her name is her actual name before she becomes lady rawhide and then here is another when she was in cause she's in this one and then she doesn't appear again until like eight nine ten eleven or something like that and i think nine is eight or nine is the big one to find from zorro all right what do we got here we got Yeah, we'll finish up the independence. I won't get into the DCs because I'm already at 20 minutes. We got Terminator number six and number seven from Now Comics. Then we got the real Ghostbusters and Ghostbusters 2, number two of three, newsstands. Slimers, which were some there was a couple of slimers in the last video. So there's number two, number five, number seven, number eight. Number nine, number 12, number 13, and all newsstands. And here's another, there's another one I could stop buying, but Gen 13. It's actually got a bunch of spine ticks. I'll probably throw this up in my stand. I think I will. Profit number one. I could probably stop buying these because I don't think it's, I think it's pretty much dead spec and it's, it's got some ticks there but like i said for 50 cents a piece i couldn't pass it up this was a nice find this was a really nice find uh this is the f i think this is the first michonne but it's a campbell exclusive and now it says campbell 2018 so i'm thinking this was in the bagged uh when they did those those bags for whatever anniversary I think it was. And you never knew what you were going to get. But yeah. I was really surprised. And I didn't notice it was Campbell at first. I pulled it up. And I don't really buy Walking Dead. But I saw how she was drawn. I was like man that awful. It looks like Campbell. Then I pulled it the whole way out. And sure enough I saw Campbell down here. So yeah. I grabbed it. The Medieval Spawn and Witchblade. Number one. Number two. And number three. I'm definitely going to read this one. But that's it. Uh, I don't know when I'm going to get to the next one. Hopefully in a couple, another couple days. Uh, we'll see. But anyways, I appreciate you guys checking it out. I'll try and get more videos out. I can't guarantee you. It's just today I just got home from work and it's humid here. And I just really didn't feel like going outside of Mellon. I figured I'd come down here and do a video. So... Hey, hit that like button, hit the subscri subscribe button, hit that notification button so you know when I drop another video. Leave comments below. I enjoy your guys' replies back. Um, and yeah, like I said, what issue do you guys always buy that you, you have a lot of them, but you just can't help yourself? And you find them for a really good price, you're always buying them. I appreciate it. Talk to you guys later. Bye.